off-season edition. Some Patriots angles here. Giants front office staff and coaches discussing the top quarterbacks in the draft. That's what you just heard from last night's episode on HBO. Really interesting stuff. Really like this. They cut out anything bad they say about the quarterbacks. They're probably doing pros and cons. They cut out the cons. Not really with Caleb Williams. Oh, well, they said that's a no-no there. Yeah. Related to the market. <laughs> that's a no-no. But, you know, yeah, he checks all the boxes. They're not even seriously discussing him, if you ask me, because they're like, we got no shot at that guy. Yeah. We got no shot at landing that particular quarterback. Before we get to Drake May, we should play the other clip, which is at the Combine, right? In like a, a suite at the Combine. Yep. You've got... Joe showing up there and asking the Patriots, you know, what their plan is and what they're doing with the pick here. We'll, we'll play it for you so you can hear it yourself. New England's as far away as they could possibly be. You going to take, take a track down there? Yeah, I'm just going to go down there and just say, hey, before you do anything at three, just make sure you let us know. Just plan to see if, if you are going to move the pick. Don't do it without at least giving us a call. Yeah. And, you know, we're, it was we're, less rebuttal. We're, we're, we're interested. But, yeah. Um, all right, cool, I'll go. Cool, cool. I'll go plant the scene. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about yeah, you got two seconds. What uh, what do you if you if, just do this for me? If you guys are gonna do anything at three, like move out at all? Again, I don't. You don't gotta tell me your plan or anything. But if you have any, yeah, you know, inkling, just just call we've, me. We've had a couple of teams call, and it's kind of been this conversation. Yeah. Um, where you guys six? We're six. Yeah. And. Uh, That's a good spot. May not be till draft day. I mean, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows how? But if you just keep me in the back here, yeah, behind, just sure. <laughs> Joe Shane goes down the hall. Is talking to Elliot Wolf. You can hear Elliot Wolf's voice. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Elliot gives him nothing there. Yeah, you know we've had a lot of teams do this, but there hasn't been a. Res- what do you say? There hasn't been a response. How, yeah, it's how kind of he, been this conversation. Yeah. This has kind of been this same co- conversation. He's kind yeah. of indicating that, yeah, we haven't answered that question for anybody. What uh, what do you, if you if, just do this for me, if you guys are going to do anything at three, like move out at all. Again, I don't, you don't got to tell me your plan or anything. But if you have any yeah, you know, inkling, just just call we've, me. We've had a couple of teams call, and it's kind of been this conversation. Yeah. Um, were you guys six? We're six. Did you say no yeah. one's answered? Yeah. I feel like he said no one's answered. Or no one's been answered. On the, that's what I thought he was saying there. Again, you've got like <laughs> no. I thought he said no one's offered. Yeah. Oh, no, no one's, one's offered. no one's offered. offered. Play, play it again for me, please. Okay. No one one's more time. We're, one more time. We're, we're running through it. I don't want to put. And it's kind of been this conversation. Yeah. No one's offered. No one's, um, no one's yeah. offered. No one's okay. Offered. No one's offered. So he's got it. So that's just hey, yeah. Phone's open. Yeah. yeah we're in offered. the three, but yeah. But like all the interviews. We'll listen. Yeah. You know, make an offer. I interviewed Mayo. I interviewed um. Um, Elliot prior to the draft, and it was like it, they were open for business. Like they were still shopping a pick, but I think internally they were taking the pick. They were dead set fast on Drake, and that's kind of the fallout. And I've done a couple post draft things where this is what we loved, loved about Drake May, and we did our homework on all these quarterbacks, and he was her guy. Don't you love how you hear this conversation? This is what I do love about Hard Knocks because I, I think it kind of knocks down people's preconceived notions about. People in sports, yeah. right? They feel like they're all in control and they're all these super confident people. And then they find out, oh, they're just regular people that are talking to each other. Joe Shane sounds like a guy who's trying to ask a girl to go to prom with him. Uh, well, you know, I mean, you don't, have to, you don't have to tell me what you're doing. Right? You don't have to give me an answer, but, you know, if you're thinking about trading the <laughs> I do pick, like you know, her. Uh, <laughs> you know, give us a call and let us know. Okay, all right, bye. Like, <laughs> he goes in there, he sounds nervous to go do it. Yeah. I bought a ticket and we got to use it. Right? Yeah. Like, well, listen, these two dweebs awkwardly talk to each other. No. <laughs> uh, the good news is the Patriots didn't trade the pick. The great news is they took Drake May with the third overall pick. And... I think this is what New England wanted, its fan base wanted to have happen, and I think it's what the team wanted to have happen. Except I feel like if you were doubting whether or not Drake May was going to make the adjustment to the NFL, maybe you're feeling better about it today if you've seen this, which is Drake May at the whiteboard with the Giants and Brian Dayball. Dolphin right. Gun Dolphin right, 72. Tundra, float, H angle. Gun Dolphin right, 72. 
tundra float h angle yeah so tundra stands for what 200 200, 200. and what does float stand for uh it's got the corner of the out kind of flag we call it a flag, flag. so okay. i mean we end up saying corner flag but it's flag flag, the so flag. And, and the angle, angle is an angle you got me on that easy stuff then you use rita to the right linda to the left it was a flip formation good rita to the right linda to the left 72 five man protection slide to the wheel so if the strength of the formation is right which what formation is that again yeah good enough right yeah right he's he's there the wheel's over there, the line would slide there. We'd say 72 Rita. 72 Rita, gotcha. It's crazy. After 30 years, I could still get in the huddle and get out of the huddle with that play call. And the terminology and how it stays the same, and that's Brian Dayball, who's taking the old Charlie Weiss offense, and, yeah, it's been tweaked by Josh, tweaked by Billy O'Brien. He tweaked it himself, but it's the same calls, same formation, same same structure with uh, protection, 72. Tells you where they're sliding to. The same tags, it's Rita, Linda, Rip, Liz. That's the tag, that's the Brady stuff, the tagging routes. Remember, remember I was telling Bledsoe, I like sticks. Sticks is all curl. I like 49er, 49ers all go. 10, 10 is two in cuts. So it's at, that's how you memorize it. That's how, you know, Tundra, two unders, you know, float. Yeah, they call it flag and out, so it's kind of combining two words with one. So people are drooling at this clip today, Zoe. Is it as good as people want to make it out to be? I would say yes, because they gave you eight seconds of information. That's a lot of overload right there. You know, um, gun, dolphin right, um, 72, tundra, uh, what's the other call? Float, H-angle, ready, break. And he's got to get up there and set it to the wheel. Like, that's, yeah, I got it. He's, I just love when he's like, yeah, yeah, easy yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's here's one thing I've learned about him. He's very excitable. Like you even tell him, yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah easy stuff. Easy stuff. Go. Yeah. Quick talk. I got it. Yeah, quick. He's a fast Southern talk. kid. Yeah. He's a fast Which talker. Means when you're a quick talker, you're not a slow, let me think as I'm talking, processing it, that he digests it fast, which is good. So that's quick because it's a lot of terminology at this level. So in that show, too, that's like a montage. They have all the top quarterbacks in there on the board yeah. going through it with Dayball. Mm-hmm. And Jaden Daniels kind of struggles with it a lot. Like There was definitely chemistry between Dayball and Drake May that there wasn't with some of these other quarterbacks in terms of going through stuff on the board. Yeah, and it's interesting who Drake, who Drake May worked with at the collegiate level, too. You know, And it's Peyton Manning and Tom's former type coaches. And if that terminology that you know Mac ran down there was the same that's going to help him more as to like maybe lsu's offense was more vanilla more west coast we're just going we're going spider banana and you everybody's got to remember it that's where max struggled i think when you brought i like structure i like structure with play calls this is why i hate west coast offense because i don't understand it it's it's archaic to me um it's it's alien because i'm not about digesting what everybody does and i just tag it with one word i like the fact you go you know, gun, gun, um, dolphin right. That tells me what the formation is. It tells me where I'm at in the gun. I know the line's job, the 72 protection. I know the two line calls that I'm tagging it with regardless of where the mic is or where the will. And I know the route combinations. And, oh, by the way, they're telling me my H-back, who's next to me, upright, is running an angle. It lays it out for you. It makes you envision what you're doing more, more so than, hey, let's go with it, you know? And I know, like, the Chiefs, the Chiefs run a lot of West Coast. But that freaking Super Bowl winning touchdown call, and the way they did that, and I forget what they called it, but it was trips right, gun trips right. It was some um, Bugs Bunny or whatever the hell character it was, but it was the pick route with the leak out, leak out to the right. And that's the way we would call plays. So there's ways you I think you can do both, and there's a mixture of it you know, to speed things up. But I think this really, really hampered Mac because like, he's, he seems like he's a structure guy. The guy wants to know the answers, you know? Like, it's spelled out for you. And I just, I just wonder what, what type of offense they're going to run here and what's the terminology. It seems like he processed that, processed that pretty well in eight seconds. Hey, if you like that clip, check out more videos from Zolak and Bertrand right here. For more Patriots analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.